<laughs> okay, I know you're wondering if I lost my mind, so let's just be clear here. I am not advocating for switching off any of your encryption protocols on your site. That would be idiotic. So why don't I want you to use SSL then? There's two possible reasons. The first is maybe because SSL or secure socket layers is obsolete. Okay, I'll admit it. That's the one we're going to be talking about. But the second more tantalizing reason possibly is because I think the entire chain of trust and certificate authority systems is that we currently use is inherently flawed and in need of a serious overhaul. But that's a tinfoil hat rant that we're gonna have to talk about another day. For now, we'll stick to working in the system that we have as effectively as we can. So SSL itself is obsolete. The reason the title is such a clickbait is because most people's first reaction is to associate HTTPS with SSL. HTTPS is a transport protocol for secure data transfer. And SSL is a technology, the encryption technology that we use to achieve that. So SSL, we get rid of, HTTPS, we keep. What we're gonna cover is why SSL is obsolete, what's its impact, and some of the tools we can use to make sure that we're on top of these secure protocols for your e-commerce sites. First, let's back up and take a look at what you should be getting out of your secure protocol. One, secrecy. Two, integrity. Three, authenticity. These are important for preventing man in the middle of attacks where an attacker could sit between your browser and your e-commerce site and do nefarious things. You don't want that attacker to be able to read any data going back and forth. You don't want them to be able to change any data and you don't want them to be able to impersonate either the server or the browser. And secrecy, integrity, and authenticity provides that to you. The HTTPS protocol by and large helps us achieve this effectively. But what we need to remember is that some of this stuff is very old. Netscape released the original specification of SSL 1.0 in 1994. I've met Magento developers who were babies back then. This was, an up, this was updated a couple times in the 90s and mainly used MD5 and SHA1 for its cipher. Eventually maintenance for the protocol was handed over to the IETF, Internet Engineering Task Force, and they revamped it and released the successor to SSL transport layer security in January of 1999. And this, my friends, is why we don't use SSL. It's basically obsolete. So why am I making a video of it? Well, you see, servers didn't want to cut off users who were using extremely outdated browsers. So many sites still supported SSL for securing sessions. Um, basically, they were catering for IE users. Yep, we're gonna blame IE for this one too, I'm sorry. So if your browser says it only supported SSL version 3, which was the latest version, the servers would happily use that to encrypt data back and forth. And this is a problem because the big poodle bug was discovered last year in 2014, and it renders SSL version 3 broken. In some ways, this is largely solved because browsers have decided to drop support for SSL. But there's still servers out there supporting SSL version 3. And that's not even the end of it. We later discovered that the poodle bug also affects TLS version 1.0. Remember I said TLS 1.0 was the successor to SSL version 3. It was built very similar, albeit incompatible with SSL version 3, and it suffers from some of the same weaknesses. The subsequent versions, TLS 1.1 and TLS 1.2, are reliable for now. But wait, there's more. TLS 1.1 and 1.2 are okay, but that comes with a caveat. In TLS 1.1 and 1.2, if you're using strong cipher suites, which are the actual encryption algorithms, then you should be okay. But if you're using the SHA-1 encryption algorithm, then that's no longer considered secure. Specifically, February of this year, 2015, the PCI overlords have deemed SHA-1 unworthy of the title strong cryptography for e-commerce. So, and it's not even SHA-1, the RC4 cipher suite, which is also supported by some of these TLS and SSL versions, are all, is also broken. So, I know it could get confusing. TLS 1.2 is better than SSL 3.0, but everyone talks about SSL. It, it'd be easy to be fooled into thinking, well, I'd just go with SSL 3.0. It's way better than TLS 1.2, which I've never heard of. So, we're drowning in different versions of different protocols, some vulnerable, some not. Um, and I'm sorry, I, I know it's not simple. I just wanted you to have an appreciation for how quickly this can get very complicated. And the guy selling you an SSL certificate is paid 
to tell you how unbreakable it is. And I think you should have a little bit of the background in mind when shopping for your SSL certificates. Anyway, to close out this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly check your SSL certificate with an easy tool, a free tool that gives you pretty colors and a passive failing grade. So you don't need to think about it too much. What we'll use is SSL Labs by Qualys. The tool is free. You just go to ssllabs.com and click test your server. Put it into your website and wait a few minutes. Well, it looks like the guys at Magento have done a really good job in setting up the SSL, but let's uh, go back and look at a site with a failing grade. Here's a random one I pulled from their list to show you how much detail you can get from this tool. Remember I said, it gets complicated fast. Another small tool that I recently found for maintaining certs is uh, certificatemonitor.org, which will monitor your SSL certificates and let you know when they're expiring. Oh, did I mention that these things expire too? Um, yeah, so I think uh, between these two tools, you know, they're complementary for staying on top of your certificates and ensuring that your connections to your shoppers are always encrypted. Next week, we'll delve into what you should be doing if you got anything less than an A grade on the Qualys SSL lab check and uh, how you should implement it on your server. That's it for now, guys. Take care and see you next week.